Hello everyone, welcome back to Bloodworth Zelda Diaries, uh, just cataloging some stories, some highlights uh, from my adventures throughout Hy Hyrule. Uh, not trying to cover my full playthrough or anything like that, uh, just moments along the way, uh, here and there, and, you know, and probably just for the next couple of weeks or whatever, uh, not, not super long either. Uh, I will probably keep playing this game long after I'm done with this series. It will probably be a long time before I quote-unquote finish it, who knows. Uh, what my approach ultimately will be to that. Uh, but fair point, uh, this episode in particular you might consider spoilery. If you th think of locations as spoilers, that's kind of the weird dilemma with all this. It's like, well, we can go just about anywhere we want. So, we'll go places we shouldn't go. <laughs> uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, one of the things that I found uh, interesting is that going back to uh, places... Uh, to like restock or ref you know refuel or or, or buy things or, or or whatever will end up changing my trajectory because from there I will see something else or think of something else that I want to do and then it gets up pulled off in a totally different tangent than my previous direction that I was going um, and yeah so I ended up back at lookout landing found Hestu again so that was great so I got, I got rid of all my seeds uh, and filled up my pouches as much as I could. I love the dance, the S2 dance is so good. Uh, and then I remembered that I had all those Poes from the depths. And uh, I went to the statue there, the Poe statue, uh, and kind of dealt with that little shop there, giving them Poes. I got these things that allow you to, uh, you can cook with them to uh, resist the gloom. And then I got uh, the Dark Link outfit there, which is crazy, and I spent all the pose I could, and then as soon as I, I finished, he's like, if you've got 10 pose, I'll tell you where more statues like me are. And I'm like, I just, I had over a hundred, dude, you could have told me that earlier. Um, but anyways, from Lookout Landing, then I was like, I, so something I've been kind of wanting to do, and then, I, you know, it's like, I'm trying, like, I've got like these different branching threads of to-do lists, right? And so one of the things I'd been wanting to do was explore Hyrule Castle uh, for two reasons. Um, and I had done a little bit here and there before. But uh, two reasons. Uh, a, it's cool to me that this is sort of where you start because uh, in Breath of the Wild, that's kind of like that was the end game. And I didn't go to Hyrule Castle until I was well over 100 hours into the game. Um, I might have popped in there like really quick and then popped out or something like that. But uh, yeah, I, I avoided it. Uh, and, and also it was crazy. Um, it's, it's just sort of nice to be able to explore the castle without being targeted by laser beams every other second. Because uh, that place is a fortress in Breath of the Wild, and it's just insanity trying to get around there. Uh, and then the other reason, as you are on social media, as we are all check seeing things that we do not intend to see, I had seen this head headline float by from probably Kotaku or something that's like, you know, you can get the best shield in the game right from the beginning, and I'm like, I, I know exactly what that means, that's not a hint. Um, so I knew the Hylian shield was somewhere in that castle. <laughs> so I went poking around the castle, uh, and I wanted to explore all of it. Um, and, uh, and there's some cool stuff I, I came across in there. I found shock likes for the first time. The like likes that like, uh, like, 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 uh, that, uh, shoot like electrical beams at you, kind of like the whiz robes. Um, uh, and it was like contending with that. I found these, uh, levers that were broken uh, and you couldn't just pull them while they were broken. What you just had to do is like find a random item, like even just like a spear or something, and like stick it on the lever and then you could pull the lever with ultra hand and it opened these gates, which was pretty cool. Uh, and there's even one um, where like somehow I wound my way around and then like the area reset a little bit. I forget exactly what happened there, but I had gone through a gate and then I came back and it was closed again. I'm like, oh. And so like, I just like took like a torch or something out of my backpack, stuck it through the bars, <laughs> stuck it onto the lever and then opened the gate from the inside. It was great. Um, uh, and then eventually I found uh, a uh, classic Zelda torch puzzle. Not even really a puzzle, you just light a torch and then up pops this chest and there's that Hylian shield. Boom! Now I'm like afraid to use it because I know that thing eventually breaks. <laughs> but I forget how long it takes. I would break from like 
trying to fend off all the guardians though, so it could take forever. But I don't know where I could get another one if I, you know, if I if I smash this one. Um, but I got some other cool shields there too. But anyways, as I'm exploring the castle, I'm winding my way through all of this stuff. Uh, every once in a while, the paths would route me into the center, into this crater, the massive crater under the castle, because Hyrule Castle is lifted up, uh, you know, which is essentially where the game started, right? Where the cutscene starts, where Link and Zelda go exploring in the depths. Um, and eventually, I got to the edge of that, cl that crater, and I'm just like, you know what? What if I just jump? What if I just jump down? I've been in the depths by now quite a bit. If I jump down and see what part of the depths this is, uh, and I jumped down and I found one of the light roots, and that was cool. I lit it up, and I was like, "Oh, this is just like a shelf." Okay, let's go deeper, and we went all the way to the bottom of that place, and then there was room to go deeper and there was a lot of gloom there's a lot of gloom all over and I'm like getting the hint maybe I shouldn't go here maybe this is something crazy but I'm like you know what I'm gonna go in and then I'm like then there's all like shock likes all over the place other crazy enemies uh like shock varieties of other enemies that I hadn't seen before and I'm like I'm awkwardly just like you know I tried to fight him a little bit then I realized like I, no, I, I can't I can't do this again and so I tried to like awkwardly climb the walls and got knocked down and like and I was like the fairies uh, were were getting used up because I got killed and like I was I was ready to die at any second but somehow I managed to like juke past the AI enough to get through all of that and then I got to like this dead end um, where I think I could have used recall or something but then I didn't so I was at the bottom of this you know this big hole in the ground essentially. Um, but I, 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 uh, <laughs> I don't have to full clip because it took me forever, but eventually got through there and like it, I just kept going. I kept going and going and through all of these ruins and things that are probably the very end of the game that you have to get through and have to use all these skills most likely that I don't have yet. Uh, until eventually like some, uh, <laughs> some like Lizalfos or something got me. Uh, so... <laughs> But that's this game. This game will just let you go to I, what I'm assuming is the end of the game. Maybe that's not. I don't. I haven't been to that the castle itself yet. Maybe I can get into the castle uh, above that's up there. But I dumped down that dumb hole and I kept going and going like a maniac. Uh, and then I start exploring around the outside of the castle again after I had died. And I see a cave on the other side of this river, and I make, build a little boat, and I go over there, and then like, oh, there's another big hole over here. And instead of saying, like, well, maybe I just, you know, I just beat my head against the wall in this big hole that I shouldn't have gone down. Well, I probably shouldn't go down this one either, but I did. I went down this hole too. And this massive thing called a frox, which is I don't know, like ox plus frog. Uh, it just ate me. Uh, but I think I had a fairy again or something. Something kept me alive. And, uh, yeah, because yeah, since I died before, I'd had my fairies back. Uh, but then I saw, like, a light route, and so I just, I just booked it. I just booked it through the dark. Get to the light route. Get to the light route. And then, then I, I got that, so I felt a little bit more secure. Um, and then, um, I tried to fight it a couple of times. I'm like, I, yeah, I, this isn't... This isn't this isn't gonna work. I don't think I don't think it's gonna work. I don't think I can kill this thing right now. So I'll just explore. And I was exploring this area, and it's like this. I was expecting again. I expect a lot of things out of the depths, out of a first first impression. I don't know why. I expected the depths to all be connected, and in either one of these holes, that is not the case. They are not connected to the rest of the depths. And this hole just seems to be like an island in a way, uh, just its own. Cavern, and I was going around there, and there were some black bacoblins and stuff, and I like, didn't mess with those guys. But I found some, some stall horses, some skeleton horses, and I'm like, you know, let me get on one of these, and uh, and I rode that thing into battle, and it took me a few tries, but I was using bomb arrows, and I was using uh, the homing arrows because, like a hinox, uh, if you hit this frox thing in the eye, it'll it'll kind of like get taken out for a little bit. 
And I just got up there with my best weapons and just whacked at that thing. And I was going for it and going for it and just broke weapon after weapon after weapon. And I killed that stupid thing. <laughs> that shouldn't have even been fighting. <laughs> so there we go. Uh, that's today's story. Uh, thank you for uh, tuning into this series so far. Uh, it's been fun. Um, we are, we're getting them out as they can get done. Uh, so there's definitely a bit of a delay between when I'm recording this and when you're watching it. But it's all good. There's no rush. Just enjoy the diaries. It gives you more time to have played the game. So maybe this stuff won't feel as spoilery by the time you watch it. Um, but yeah, uh, that's the one for today. If you enjoy what we're doing, uh, check out uh, our impressions our streams, our reviews, our podcasts, uh, and consider becoming a patron uh, because we are funded by our fans. That's how we keep everything rolling and how this company exists. Uh, so thank you, and I will see you next time.